I'm Gareth with Nanometer, and this is Ask Nanometer, your questions answered in plain English. Today's question, how does zero to 10 volt dimming actually work? Well, what an onion this one is. First of all, zero to 10 volt is a simple analog dimming protocol where a driver or dimming interface receives a voltage between zero and 10 volts and adjusts its brightness accordingly. Simple, right? Some of you may not know, but the original zero to 10 volt control was actually used for theatrical lighting. You can share this little tidbit next time someone tries to harp on about how DMX is only for theatrical lighting. Anyway, this was known as current source. Later, we saw the introduction of a dimming ballast standard known as current sync. That's right, there's actually more than one standard for zero to 10 volt dimming. Now under the dimming ballast standard, controls are required to be at the maximum brightness when at or above 10 volts, and to be at the minimum level of light at one volt. Anything less than one volt in the standard, it just means that the driver is gonna to go to its minimum brightness. In some drivers, this means that the device goes all the way off. In others, it's gonna stay at the lowest intensity. If this happens, you're gonna need an extra relay in order to actually turn the light off. The relay is essentially gonna cut the high voltage power feeding the fixture. On the flip side, the theatrical standard basically states that it should be at 100% brightness at when 10 volts, and at 0% brightness when it's at zero volts. But what about this sink source stuff? Because we're using a voltage to determine the output, something needs to source that power onto the line. So in the source standards, the power is coming from the controls, and in the sync standards, the power actually comes from the drivers. Let's take a closer look at that dimming ballast standard, as this is the most commonly used in the industry. Here, each driver used on the loop sources a little bit of current onto the line for the controller to sync. Basically, as we're adjusting the voltage using our controller, we're now changing that and it's been interpreted by each driver. Now in the source standard, the controller is sourcing the 10 volts and the drivers are syncing. So the controller just needs to send out a voltage between zero and 10 volts and the driver will respond as needed. Because there's only one source for the power in this setup, the standard requires that the driver limits the current draw to no more than two milliamps per device. This means that a 50 milliamp controller can support up to 25 devices on the same loop. Now there's a few things that we need to think about in this free dimming standard we use every day. First of all, who's going to provide the power on the 0 to 10 volt line? Is it going to be sync or source? And number two, what, is, what standard are we actually using? Not only do the different 0 to 10 volt standards have different bookends for the dimming range, but they also leave a lot up to manufacturer interpretation. This means that lights from different manufacturers will potentially not dim to the same level, even though they receive the same voltage. At Nanometer, we have our DM10X dimming interface, and this device is designed to the dimming ballast standard, but with an added bonus. You see, the DM10X sources the power as expected, the electrical components are designed to allow the current sourcing controller to override the device's authority. Effectively, it means it will auto switch between sync and source in the field as required. Anyway, that's basically how 0 to 10 volt is working, and there's a ton of stuff that you can really dig into if you're interested or a total nerd like myself. Don't forget to submit your questions to at nanoltg on Instagram or email them to us at info at nanoltg.com. Cheers.